Kaluit residents crowded around the RCMP detachment for the unveiling of a brand new monument, marking the contribution of Inuit special constables and their dogs. The special constables were the Inuit RCMP members who made sure that the southern officers imported could get around and even just survive. Over a decade ago, the Kikitani Truth Commission investigated the history on Baffin Island between the RCMP and Inuit. It's commonly called the Dog Slaughter Report, but it covers a whole lot more ground than that. One of the recommendations of that report? Building this monument. Before he was Nunavut Premier, P.J. Akiokuk was president of the Kikitani Inuit Association. And it's such a special moment to, to see the monument being unveiled today to really recognize the big contributions special constables made and to really implement uh, a specific uh, recommendation that was outlined in the Thikathani Truth Commission that I, in my previous role, had advocated for. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so since 2010, we've been implementing the um, recommendations coming through from the uh, QTC report. So recommendation number three is to do this with the RCMP and recognize the uh, community constables. Uh, that will really help. If you're unveiling an Inuit statue, it doesn't hurt to have some Inuit performance on hand. The Inuksuk High School drum dancers were happy to provide it. Lou Phillip was one of those Inuit special constables. As such, he doesn't mind teasing one of the younger officers who was there to interpret for him. What did I say? You're supposed to be working. You translated to me. So, he recalls um, when special constables were working and uh, their main mode of transportation was the dog team and where he grew up in Arctic Bay they didn't have uh, police. I think the closest police force or the uh, post was in Pond Inlet so they would come into his area by dog team and stuff and without the help of the special constables and the Inuit around them they would not have been able to survive. Um, they, they were clothed and fed by the people of these communities. And now, the grand unveiling. A team of four Inuit artists constructed this monument with all of the attention to detail that the world has come to expect from Inuit art. Akaluit now has some more public art for everyone to enjoy. This art, though, helps tell the history of a long, complicated relationship between Inuit and RCMP, a story that's still unfolding every day in Nunavut. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News, Akaluit.